Hashem, that we're able to learn every day. If we don't learn, we should have the base in English immediately. Okay, today we'll start base and base. Um, five lines from the top. Pasha Travachai. Now, um, what happened here in the Gemara beforehand was first the Gemara gave an answer, but it didn't even ask it as a question. It said that if there's some sort of um, circumstance where he's not, where a husband is not able to perform the marriage, he's still he he's in in a, if it's not an accident if it's not an accident then he's obligated to support it to to begin supporting his wife at the designated date but if it was an accident and and the example for that would be if he got sick or she got sick or she became anita then he does not need to support her yeah, the, the, you, you postpone his that um, that obligation until the until the marriage or until the accident. Until, what, what do you call it? Not an accident. It's a um, unavoidable circumstances until that passes. Where did we learn this from? Because we have a brisa that says it's really a mission. I think that says that if the designated date falls on a Sunday and the rabbis don't allow the marriage to take place on a Sunday, he doesn't need to support her until Wednesday. See? So an unavoidable circumstance um, pre prevents him or, or, uh, or uh, um, makes him potter, makes him exempt, exempts him from, from those responsibilities. Then the Gemara said, one second. There's, there is another version of this, and that is that they asked it as a question. We know what happens by... If the, if the wedding was supposed to be on a Sunday, we know the din over there, we have a Mishnah. He does not need to support her until, the, until Wednesday because the sages said he can't do the wedding. So the sages are, are the ones that are saying, it's not his fault, it's the sages that are in, who, actually, who are the sages doing it for? They're doing it for the, for the wife because they want him to prepare the meal. So it's really her. That's, she's the one that's at fault here. So therefore, he doesn't have to start paying for her when she's the one that's at fault. What would happen, the Gemara asks, if he gets sick? Do we say that, look, it's an inus? Just like in the, uh, in the, in the other case where it's an inus. He can't, and therefore he should be exempt. Or do we say that there's a difference between an inus of a takanas chachamim when the sage is instituted that he can't do the marriage in his own inus. Him getting sick is different than the sage is instituting a law that the marriage can't take place until Wednesday. If we say, the Gemara says, that he's responsible, what about if she got sick? Now, this is a little bit more, this is more similar to the takanas chachamim. Because the Takanas Kham was just for her. So it's not him being delinquent. It's her not showing up. Right? Or her is something that's because of her. So therefore, in this case, do we say that her getting sick is... Oh, what did we say before? If we would say that if he got sick, then he has to pay. He has to pay. What if she gets sick? Maybe over there it's different. Maybe over there she doesn't. Maybe over there he doesn't have to pay for her for her food. He doesn't have to begin supporting her. That's the Gemara's question. Can he tell her it's your fault? Sounds like he should. But the Gemara says maybe there's one more option. Maybe she's able to tell him. It's very interesting. She's able to tell him that it's all your fault that I'm sick. Why? Usually I don't get sick. All of a sudden, it's the time of our marriage. It's your muscle. Yeah, you made me sick. It's because of your muscle that I'm sick. Wow, that's a common question. And not necessarily is this the shot, is this what she's actually claiming? It could be that she's really claiming is that, look, you're supposed to support me starting from this day. You have bad muscle. 
you know, it's look, the, sometimes that's what happens. You, uh, the, you can't make the marriage yet because I'm sick, but you're still obligated to support me. It's that's your muscle, which she's claiming. That's an interesting claim because um, my wife had a helper. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say, <laughs> give it away too much. But basically, there was a discussion about, about if there's, for some reason, they're not able to make it, should my wife pay her anyway? That's right. Her claim. So her claim was, it's not my fault. I wasn't able to make it. My wife says, yeah, but I don't pay for not your fault. I pay for the work. <laughs> so, so here, what's, uh, what's, what's happening here? She's saying, um, it's not my fault. And he's saying, yeah, but I only want to pay if there's a marriage. <laughs> he's saying, well, look, I'm doing my best. What do you want from me? Okay, so if we say that she's able to make that claim, I'm doing my best. What do you want from me? It's your uh, bad luck. So what happens if she becomes a nida? So if she's in, and we're talking about that at a nida, you can't do a, a wedding. That's, right. that's what we're going to say over here. Let's keep it simple. Um, if we're going to say... talking about that she's able to tell him that it's your bad luck so if it's at the time when she normally gets a nida when she's uh, her time of her cycle so then she can't claim it's your bad luck that's her totally her cycle she she won't be able to make that claim so yeah yeah let's say Yeah, uh, probably Hariat Mukadesh is the Zoo. Because apparently one of the changes, this was a common occurrence, one could have been changed to divorce. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. If uh, in the condition, when they set the date, did they take that into account that she's going to be a Nida? Right. 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 Right, that, that could have been, that could have been. But here, uh, good morning. Here, what if she becomes a nida and it's not on her cycle? So do we say that it's your bad luck? That's what she's been telling the, the husband. It's your bad luck, you still need to support me. I know I'm the one that's not showing up for, for the wedding, but normally this doesn't happen. It's it's under your bad luck. Um, or do we say, what do you mean? It's not the, it doesn't have to do with the husband that she became a nida. Women change their cycle all the time. It's not always set. This has nothing to do with the husband. She doesn't show up. She doesn't get paid. She doesn't get uh, the... Okay. So this right. is, we're holding on. Uh, this is our question right now. Yeah. Um, why couldn't they still get married even if she... Got ah. her period. Ah, very good. Very good. This is a discussion in Iran. Um, oh, yeah, okay. And there's a discussion. Yeah, you're, you're getting deeper than the Dafyami, but the, basically, um, there's two ways of looking at chuppah. I was going to ask that question. Does it need to be chuppah haroi labia or not? Um, does it need, when he brings her into the house, does it need to be that he's able to have relations with her as well? And the Rambam is strict about this. And uh, the other Rishayim are not. Yeah. What we would say is like this. According to the other Rishayim, how do they learn this? According to the Rambam, I get how you learn this Gemara. It's not allowed. Easy. And that's what she, she's saying. I'm not able to come. I'm not able to. We can't do it. Can't have the wedding. And he's claiming if we can't have the wedding, then I don't want to start supporting you yet. And we're saying that if it's Bishas Vesta, then, then, he should, then, um, then he shouldn't have to support it. But if it's Shalei Bishas Vesta, maybe she's able to claim that Nistach Vasadeu, that your, uh, it's your bad luck, your field got flooded. Okay, what do you do with the other Rishonim that say you're allowed to make a Chupas Nida? Yeah. He can't... By Kedushin. 
but that's by Kedusha. We're doing the second half of the, of the marriage, which is only through relations. But really, what that really is, is bringing her into the house. Now, if he brings her into the house, then he should have to support her. Problem is, he brings her into the house, but he can't live with her. So the, the, what, what would we say over here? That if, according to the Rishonim, that he's allowed to bring her into the house, even though he's not allowed to live with her, he can do chopo without relations, because she's a nida. It's a machlekes. According to those opinions, we would say that she's, he's not obligated to do the chopa on this time, and therefore the sages exempted him from, from starting to, uh, to support her. Okay. So we were holding last time, where, this is where we're holding, Pashit Rabachoy. Rabachoy answers the question, and we're talking about um, something that came from her side, that the reason why the marriage isn't completed. Pashit Rabachoy, he gives man so he rereads the Mishnah that we quoted. If the time came and they were not married, she's supposed to already be supported by him. She eats from his food and she can also eat shuma if, if he's a kayim. Okay. How does that resolve the issue? So he reads it like this. It doesn't say that he did not actively marry her, which would put all the onus on him. It says, they were not married, right. which means passive, whatever the reason is, even if it's coming from her fault. And nevertheless, he also already obligated to support her. Hey, Chidami, what's the case? You're going to tell me that it's Mamish her fault? If she's the one that's saying, I'm not coming, why does he have to support her? She doesn't show up and he has to support her. It must be that it was an Ines. And we're talking about exactly this, that she got her period. She's, uh, she's in Nida, and it's not on the cycle. And nevertheless, he has to support her. Why does he have to support her? Because she can claim that I, I'm doing my best. It's not my fault. Something is going on with your muscle. It's your bad luck. And so, therefore, the time was set for, the, for you to start supporting me. It starts already. It says that, he, that she eats from him and she also eats truma. So now we have an answer different than the answer that we gave, that, the way we learned this the first time. Basically, there's two lishness over here. The way the Gemara learned it at the beginning, we say that any sort of Aynas, he's exempt. Remember, we said based on the Takanas Chacham, if it falls on Sunday, he doesn't have to support her because the sages said, and therefore, according to that, whether she got sick or he got sick or became Anita, be the same thing, he doesn't have to support her. He's exempt. Second Lishna, based on Rabbi Choy, on uh, Pashat Rabbi Choy, is that no, actually, he does have to support her. Even if it's Lai Nisu even if it was just they were not married, even if it's based on something that she caused that's coming from her. So there's really two answers to this Gemara. Two, two, uh, two, it comes out with two different, uh, two different uh, verdicts. Yeah. yeah. So the way to learn this is that it's really all dependent on what's the reason why the sages said that he has to pay her, that he has to support her starting at that time. Do we say that because they set the date so the sages gave him a knas. If you didn't do the marriage, we don't care. You have to start supporting it, so fine. Now, if it's his fault, then we understand why there's a knas. But if it's not his fault, then he should be exempt. Yeah, that fits with the, with the first, first way of learning. Any sort of accident, he's sick, even if he's sick, he's exempt. Why should there be a knas? He's doing his best, he got sick. But if we say that it's an, uh, just an obligation, it's not a knas, it's not a fine that we put on him. So then, in other words, the obligation starts not from the marriage, but from the date of the marriage. Mm -hmm. So then we understand that it's, here, that it's, uh, it's an accident, but uh, that's not, that does have nothing to do with this. The obligation, it says that this is when you start supporting. So even if there's an accident, he still has to support. That would be the two ways of looking at the two answers. Okay. However, um, Amar Ravashi, Ravashi says, Really, I could, I could say to you that the answer is not perfect. Rav Achoy's answer 
It's not perfect. Why? You see, based on this, on Ravashi responding to Rav Achoy, Teisur says that it cannot be Rav Achoy Goin. Rav Achoy Goin would have been in the um, 700s. Ravashi is in about 500. So R- R- Ravashi cannot respond to something that someone said later. So it has to be an earlier Rav Achoy that we don't have so often. That's what Teisur says in there. Ravashi says, The truth is, is that if there's an Aynas, she does not get food. She does not get his support. What would an Aynas be? Pierce and Nida. She becomes a Nida. He doesn't support her. Now, Rabbi Chay said, Pierce and Nida, he does support her. Ravashi says, maybe really he doesn't support her. With the Kamakri Yinu, the Brisa, or the Mishnah rather, that says, that he has to support her. That's only if it's his problem, if it's not his problem, if it's his fault. Yeah. Really, it should have used an active form. If the ma- date of the marriage came and he did not marry her, not they did not get married, not the passive. Uh, and he did not marry her, that means really only if it's his fault. Uh, uh, and he did not marry her, that means when it's his fault, that's when he has to support her. But if it's not his fault, he doesn't have to support her. So really, Pearson Nida would be exempt. So then why did it not say it in that form? It says, The reason why it used the passive was because it was talking about how much time we give to the woman to prepare herself before the wedding. It says, Absolutely, we give her 12 months. And then we say, and if she did not get married, if the marriage didn't take place, so we're continuing talking about her because that was the beginning with trying to keep the voice consistent in the, um, in the sentence, in this paragraph, that we're talking about her getting married. And if she does not get married, we continue. And not him performing the marriage. We weren't talking about how much time we give him. And then we would continue if he did not, but we were talking about how much time we give her. And then we say, and if she does not get married, but really we want to say that if he does not do the marriage, that's when he has to support her. But if it's, but if it's because of her that the marriage didn't take place, then he's exempt from supporting us. Yeah, so we would say over there, right, 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 right. So what you want to say is that, uh, let's, to keep it simple, we would do that nasu, which it actually doesn't say, but it wanted to say that, right? What it wanted to say, that's the way Ravashi is doing it. What it wanted to say is the way we're going to accept um, that he did not perform the marriage. That means that anything that came from his side including unintentional, yeah. So the whole Takanas Chachamim, which exempts him from the Takanas Chachamim that you can't get married on a Sunday, you have to get married on a Wednesday. That's all because it's coming from her. That was instituted to prepare, prepare the meal for her. And so that's the reason why it's postponed. And that's why he doesn't need to support her. But anything that comes from him, that would be uh, an obligation. Okay. Yeah, with the, the Rashbam, right? Right. About who Rabbi Chai is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's interesting how Tesis mentions that the terms that it's introducing Rabbi Chai, of Pashat Rabbi Chai, sounds like it's it's not that. Usually amongst Amiraim, it says just Amar. Amar Rabbi Chai, right? It doesn't give like those, those, um, ad, those uh, adverbs. I was saying it's something like that. Okay. Um, Amar Rava. Rava says, based on what we just said, now, what really Rava is doing is he's going back to the original answer. So the original answer was that if there's any sort of accident, he does not need to support her. That means we accept an accident as a valid excuse. 
It's an accident. Oh, okay, you're exempt. Rabbi says, we're not going to say that by a divorce. We're not going to say, oh, an accident? Okay, we're, we're not going to say that. We're going to say, we don't care about the accident. We look for the bottom line. Did he or did he not? By the, that's by the, by the divorce. No excuses. Now, what's the case? Even if it's unintentional, we don't accept it. Now, what's the case? Let's do it. We have to see the case. The case is a drop confusing because it's actually, it's a backwards case. What happens is um, a person gives a, a get to his wife and he says, if I don't return within a certain time frame, within a year, let's say, if I don't return within a year, then the get should be valid. If I don't return, the get is valid. Mm -hmm. Now the guy is trying to return. He's on his the plane, this now he's taking, you know, boats and things and he's trying to get there and he doesn't make it. And when he gets there, it's already too late. So he said, if I don't return, the get's valid means the gets valid, he didn't return. But he says, I tried so hard to return. Don't you accept my efforts and my, it was that it was an accident. It should be, what he, based on what we're saying, that if there's an accident, we say it's not his fault. We should make it as if he returned. Now, the truth is that there's a, a difference between um, making it as if he did return and just saying that it's not his fault. I mean, the fact is he didn't return. But I think because we're looking at a condition here, we're going to say that it's the condition. We're going to view his accident. And that we're actually, we're not going to. But what we could have done is we could have viewed the, the, the accident to void the condition. He made a condition that if he doesn't return, that the get's going to be valid. But he tried so hard, and it was an accident. So we should say, okay, the get, uh, the get is not valid, right? If he returns, the get is not valid. And he tried so hard. I didn't, right. Right, right. The Gemara is actually going to mention that. Right. 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 Okay. I know. I agree. I agree, and that's what Rav is saying. Actually, the problem is going to be in the other case, and we're going to have uh, where another version of Rav where because he tried, that's good enough. Over there, that's where the problem is going to be. But over here, it's, it's actually logical. We don't say that because he tried and it's an accident that that should be as if he did it. Okay. It seems from this, or we see from this, the Rava holds that there's no such thing as an accident when it comes to, yeah, and when it comes to a get. Okay. Where does Rav know this from? We're looking for sources. Do you, do you have it over there on your? On, you have it? Okay, good. You taking off? Yeah. Okay. A safe trip. Culture. Culture. Okay. Tan is, is the way we introduce a Mishnah. From this that it was taught in the Mishnah, Hareze Gitech, person gives a get to his wife. If I don't arrive within 12 months. Okay. It's being precautious. We've had things like this. Right. Right. He wants to come back. However, Umes Betech but then he passed away. Now, when he passed away, he, the get was not valid yet. 
the get would only become valid after 12 months. This is your get if I don't return in 12 months. That means in 12 months, it takes effect. The problem is, is that but when 12 months arrives, he's not alive. And he can't give a get after he dies. So it says, ain't a get. It's not a get. Umar says. No, but the, the, the get would make a difference be, regarding if the wife needs to marry his brother or because he's, she's a widow or maybe she's a divorcee and there's no such law. So the difference is important there. And can she marry a Cohen? If the get is a valid get, then she can't marry a Cohen. And if she's a widow, she can marry a Cohen. So there's differences between if she's a widow or a divorcee. Mace, who they get. If he dies, that's when it's not a get. But if he didn't return because he was sick, sounds like a raise a get. It would be a get. You see what we're saying? We're saying that even though he really was trying to return, see, when he passed away, <clears throat> he can't tell me he was trying to return, and it doesn't matter if he was trying because he, there's no get lachamisa. But that sounds like if he was sick and he was trying to return, then it would have been a get. That means that, we, that the excuse that he had, that he wasn't able to return because he's sick, does not affect the validity of the get. We're still saying, we're still saying that the fact that he did not return makes it a good get. That was, that was the condition. So Rava has a good support from such a, from such a Mishnah. What's the support? The support was that if you wanted to tell me an, an oinus doesn't matter, then tell me that he got sick. And then for sure, if he died, it's not a get because he doesn't return. Even if he was sick, oinus is the accident, unavoidable circumstance. If you wanted to tell me that an un, unavoidable accident, uh, circumstance doesn't matter, then tell me the case where he got sick. And that's teaching me more than if he died. Because when he dies, I have another reason why it's not a get, because you can't give a get after he dies. But if you wanted to tell me that an accident doesn't matter, unavoidable circumstance doesn't matter, and the fact is that he didn't return, and so therefore the get is valid, or not valid, so then tell me the case of, uh, of Inus. Here we're saying that the get is not valid. If you want to tell me that the get is not valid, so tell me the case where he got sick. We'll make, it, we'll make believe like he returned because he tried so hard. He didn't say that, obviously, because it's not true. The Gemara says, one second. Maybe the truth is, is that even if he got sick, it's also not a get. Then why didn't it say that? Could have taught me so much more if you would have given that case. What it's really saying is that we don't, um, it's only telling me one point over here, that there's no get after death. Saying get lachamisa, that's, you want to tell me that's going to be your chiddush, that's your whole point over here is to tell me something that's so obvious. That I have from other sources, I have even in that statement itself, an earlier statement says that there's no get lachamisa. Resha means the first part of that uh, Mishnah. I'm sorry. This is your get if I pass away. This is your get if I pass away from this illness. This is your get after he passes away. After I, that's what the statement is. After he passes away. So, he didn't say anything. You're trying to tell me to imply that there's no get after death. We have clear statements that there's no, data, no get after death. It must be that you're trying to tell me something else, that we don't accept an excuse that it was an unavoidable circumstance. And you didn't, and you didn't tell that to me. You, all you told me was that, there's no get, that, uh, that if he died, it's not a get, probably because if it would have been an unavoidable circumstance, if it would have been an unavoidable circumstance, we would say that the get is good. 
which means that we're going to ignore the unavoidable circumstance and say that it's his fault that he didn't return or just that he didn't return. We're not going to consider that he returned and the get is good. And that would be a support for Rava that says, Ain Aynas Begitin. We ignore the Aynas. The Gemara says, you see, it's confusing because we're looking at the, at the condition in the get and we're saying that if he doesn't fulfill the condition because of an accident, then the get, if he does, if he, then the get is valid and it gets valid. The Gemara says, Dilma, you see, what's the condition to invalidate the get? If I return, then the get is not valid. And he doesn't fulfill the condition to invalidate the get, but he tried so hard. We ignore that trying and we say that he didn't fulfill it. That's, that's, that's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Why should we say? Let me check the commentaries if they have a better um, explanation. We'll check after. Okay. Gemara says, Dilma Seinu, maybe it's actually coming, this statement here is just coming to exclude something that the sages said. And it's not really telling me that we don't accept the, the oinus. What did the sages say? The tiny was taught in Abraisa. Rabbi Seinu Tiru that the sages allowed her to get married without chalitza. The sages accepted it as a get. He didn't return. He doesn't return. Yeah, so what happened? She do, he doesn't return. That means that the get is valid. And she doesn't need, problem is, how was it a good get? How was it a good get? He died. And there's no get, La Hermisa. Let's say we do know. But the sages said that it is a get. How does that work? How could it be a get if he died? Get, and then, right. So we know. Let's say we have witnesses. So look at this. We said, why? How is this possible? Who are the who are the sages that uh, permitted her to get married without chalitza? Meaning that the get was she's a divorcee, she's not a widow. How does that work? The sages is the same bezdin of the bezdin that permitted non-Jewish oil. Originally, there was a decree: you're not allowed to drink non-Jewish wine. Also, not allowed to drink non-Jewish oil. Then it became very difficult and uh, they permitted non-Jewish oil, right? Non-Jewish oil is permitted. Now, who, were the, who was that best? And it was the best in of Rabbi Yehuda Nesia, the grandson of, of Rabbi Yehuda Nasi, if you look on the chart, uh, turn it over there. Yeah. Uh, that's Rabbi Yehuda Nasi. Oh, I'm sorry. It would be right here, Rabbi Yehuda Nesia, Rabbi Yehuda Nesia. Yeah, it was a grandson of the editor of the Mishnah, and he permitted this, and he's the one that also says that this is going to be a valid get, even though the person died, the husband died. And the reason is, says uh, an interesting logic. He says there's a date in the document of the get. That date makes it that the get doesn't take effect when the condition is fulfilled, but the get takes effect from the time of the date. And then if the condition isn't fulfilled, then, then uh, it gets void. 
But when does it really take place? From the date. You look at the date in the document. So it's because the date in the document is written well, at the time when the get is written, you write that date. You don't write the date when it's fulfilled, right? You write the date of when the document is written. So that's when it really takes effect. It's just that the condition would break it. Yeah. So that's why it could be a get even though after, even though the person died because it's really being fulfilled before he died. It's really it's really valid before he dies from the time of the document. That's the opinion of Rabbi Yossi, which follows these which the sages follow. No. All right. Right. According to this view, that's how it would be. Right. There is a way of doing it. I mean, if you if you say that, well, well let's see, see it a step further. Velami Seifa. Rather, we're looking for a proof for Rava that doesn't accept an, an, an Inus by a get. Says it doesn't matter how difficult it was to get back. The fact is he didn't get back. That means that the get is going to be valid. Where does Rava know that's from? So we thought maybe he knows it from, he knows it from the case where the person died. We said that it's not a get. We said that's because he died. But if he would have been sick, then we would say that um, maybe it is a get. Right? If it's sick, it is a get. That means that when we're ignoring the fact that he wasn't able to come because that's not a good excuse. See, Rav has a support. Right. 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 The reason why the reason why um, th there's a slight difference between this case and that case is has to do with these two parties involved that both of them are in agreement to this. Over here by a get, he's the one that does the whole thing. It's all his own statement. She does not need to, at least biblically, this is before Rabbi Nagashin, she does not need to be an active participant. The, the get just goes into her property and that's it. So it's really all his, there's a slight difference over the, in your case because you agreed to me. And th this, this is all his, say, it's all his own saying. There, isn't, there is no other party involved. Right. At a certain time. Yeah, but over there you have two people that are in agreement. Here it's all being initiated by one person. But she doesn't want the get. Even if she doesn't want it, it doesn't matter. It's a get. Her intention doesn't matter here. Yeah, so that's there's a slight difference which could make a difference in the agreement. Okay. Well, let me say for so we're looking for support for Rava and we don't have it so far because maybe what they meant when they were talking about the death was they're coming to tell me that I don't say that I look at the date. There was one opinion that says you look at the date in the document. And this opinion is saying that I don't look at the date in the document, which is a chiddush also. Aguna. Okay. But let's say she wants to wait. She says, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to, I'll give my, I'll give her more time because I really want to be with her and I'm not running. To, so even if the get takes effect, can she say, I don't, I don't want it to take effect? Because, no, the get's the get. Okay, but if she doesn't, if, but if she's not with anybody, she could have still remarried. Yeah, if, uh, unless he's a Cohen. He's a Cohen. He can't even remarry his own or see his own wife. So we look at a new case. Bella Misefa. It says, Meyachshav. Um, there's a different story. He says that the get takes effect from now. If I don't return within 12 months, 
already from now it's a good get. And here it's a regular condition that, that in 12 months, if I don't return, then it's not going to be a, that if, if I don't return, then it's still valid. And if I do return, it will, it will uh, take it away. Yeah. So, but then he passes away. Over there, it's obvious. I raise a get. It is a good get. Why? Because it was given before he died. So we take a look at it like this. Mace, who adin lachala. We don't care why he doesn't return. Maybe he died. Maybe he's sick. See, that's a very strong proof to Rava that an unavoidable circumstance is not an excuse in this condition. Okay. Umar says, Dilma may stafka. Maybe it's only if he died. How do you know? We just made an assumption here. And based on that assumption, we brought it as a proof. Because maybe this is only a valid get because he died. But if he would be sick, it won't be a valid get. So why are you making that distinction? It says, Dilei michale, the table kami yavam. There's a big difference. If he dies, then she's going to end up having to marry his brother, which let's say he's a child. She's going to have to wait 13 years until he gets older to do yibam. So he, so he wants her to have the get. But if he's sick, why does he want her to have the get? He was trying so hard. Let the get not, not be valid. How do you know? I mean, there's a difference here. So how do you know that the same rule will apply if he doesn't return because he died or if he doesn't return because he's sick? Yeah, uh, one second. You'll, that you'll see in a moment. That you'll see in a moment. Elameha. So we need a different proof. It says the Hudamalu. There was a person that said to them, probably to the witnesses, uh, If I don't return within 30 days, it should be a get. Gives a get. Maybe he's going on a dangerous trip or something. It says, if I don't return, it should be a get. He returned at the end of the 30 days. In the nick of time, it's just one problem. Upaskim Mabra. Mabra is a bridge or a ferry? A ferry. The ferry wasn't there, it was blocked. So he's across the river. Amalahu, he says to them, Chazudasai, Chazudasai, see, I'm here, I'm here. He just can't get over the river. So what was the din in that case? Amar Shmuel, loishme masya. Masya means like asai. It's not considered that he came. He didn't come. Rav's support is from Shmuel. Even though he's trying so hard. Look, is it his fault that there's no ferry? It's not his fault. But nevertheless, the fact is he didn't come. We don't look at an unavoidable circumstance to take away the condition. The Gemara says, maybe that's not a perfect proof because Dilma Ainsa de Shriach Shiny. Maybe that's something that he should have taken into account when he made the condition. He should have made that pronouncement that I'm going to come. <clears throat> I'm going to come back. And if I come back, the get should not be valid. But it's still up to the up to uh, certain circumstances that if the ferry's here, then I'll be able to come. <coughs> In other words, an oinus that that happens all the time. We should have put that into there. That some day, sometimes you have to wait a day or two for the ferry. Maybe a week. I don't know. I don't know the ferries. How about a simple contract like this? If I'm not back in thirty days. Uh, Right. So that's that's the suggestion here that that he should have done that if that's a circumstance that people think of. <laughs> Get a lawyer. That's right. <clears throat> the Gemara answers like this: We basically don't have a support for Rava. <clears throat> We're looking for what's Rava's proof that we don't accept the Ninus in a condition. Abayaget. 
Ela Rava Svardin Afshe Kamar. Rava thought of this on his own. Why? It says, Mishim Tsnuas and Mishim Prutsas. How do they translate that? Because of modest women and because of immodest women. Is that the term that they use? No. Virtuous. 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 And what's the Prutsas? Promiscuous. Licentious. Licentious. Because of virtuous and licentious women. Okay. Very good. Because of the virtuous women, the listen to this. You got to take this, realize what's happening here. If, if you say that it's not a get, even though the condition was not met, he didn't, even though the condition was met, even though he did not return, it means the condition was met, and therefore the get should be a get. But we're going to say, but because the condition was met through an inus, then it's not, a, it's not considered that the condition was met. And then the get is not valid. So the tsunua is the virtuous women, we're going to say, Dilma Delayanis. Maybe he didn't return because he didn't want to return. And the get is for sure valid. But she's not getting married. The Savradanis, she thinks maybe he just was an accident and he didn't return. Umiyanga, Vyasva. She's going to be sitting over there and not, get, not getting married. It's going to be uh, crazy. How's she going to know what was the reason for it? She's going to be machmer on herself and say, I don't know. So Rav said that we can't accept a, an inus in, in, um, as not fulfilling the condition. Because a virtuous woman is never going to get married. And then the other way. What's the other way? The Amrit Leila Havigita. If you say that it's not a get because it was an accident, it was unavoidable. Zimnin Donis, maybe really it was an, an, an honest. That means that the get is not a good get. Va'amra, Loyanis. And she's going to claim that no, it was not an accident. And the get is a good get. She's going to go get married. Claiming that it wasn't a nine, wasn't a nineness. She's going to get married. The children are really. She's a married woman to someone else. The children are going to be mom's That's very bad. That's very bad. So therefore, we said that you can never look at the ainus in a condition of a get, and you can only look at the facts. Did he? Re, did he or not? Because otherwise, you're going to cause a problem from both ends. Okay, the Gemara has a problem with this last point. It says, What really happened over here? According to what, what Rav is saying, is that really, without this problem, a person says, this is your get if I don't return within a certain amount of time. And an accident happened. And he's not able to return. Really, the get is not a good get even though we didn't return. The get is not a valid get because of an accident, because of unavoidable circumstances. He was trying to meet the condition, but because of unavoidable circumstances, he couldn't meet the condition. Or because of, avoid he met the condition because of avoidable, unavoidable circumstances, and he did not return. But what, what that would mean was, it, what that would mean is that, is that the get is not a valid get. Midday Raisa. What, are the, what is Rava doing? He's saying it is a valid get. How does Rava say it's a valid get when it's not a valid get? You change the law? Even though biblically, according to the Torah, an accident is considered an accepted excuse. Where do we know that from? Rashi says, when the girl that's raped, the, fa the, the, uh, the father gets paid the 50 coins or whatever, and the girl, nothing happens to her. See, because it, wasn't, it was unavoidable. So an accident is a valid excuse. We're saying that over here, the get should not be a valid get because it was an accident why it didn't return. Rebbe says we have to make it into a valid get because of some side problems. How does he do that? 
Akmar says, in, yes, we do have this. Because called the Makadash, I to the Rabbana Makadash. Anyone that ever gets married, in the marriage, they're saying that they're getting marriage, married according to the will of the sages. Kedas um, Meishav Yisrael, according to the law, of, which means that the entire marriage is all based on do the rabbis agree to it? You know how this get works? Not that she, not that she gets divorced at the end, but the rabbis said like this: that if you're going to give a get that biblically is a valid get, is, a, is not a valid get. Biblically, it's not a valid get because it was an accident about why he didn't return it. It's not a good get. But the rabbis say that it is a good get, not because it is a good get. The rabbis take back the original marriage and they say that we never agreed to that marriage and that's how she's divorced. They invalidate, they, invalidate, they annul no. the original marriage. No. The uh, the fellow that he wasn't married, but uh, that's not a mamzer. Yeah. If a uh, get if, if a condition is nullified, does that change the fact of whether Cain could marry that person? Oh my gosh. Um, there's, there's a rule somewhere that a reyach get, and I, it could be this would go under that category. A reyach uh -huh. get means the smell of a get is also... Okay, yeah, yeah. So practically, it would be a problem. Um, but uh, there was in, uh, in uh, modern uh, halachic history, <laughs> it was a case where there was a mamzerim, and the way they, the way they dealt with it was they gave a get that was only valid rabbinically, which the way that works is that a get that's only valid rabbinically is that the rabbis take a null the original marriage, which means that she was never married in the first place, which means that the second husband that she had without a get was no problem because she was never married to the first husband. And that was the way that they got out of it. And um, it was a big, big uh, controversy if this is really acceptable to do this. It, it's, a, it's this huge loophole, you know, to, Amalei Ravina le Ravashi. Ravina says to Ravashi, Tainach Kaddish Bekaspa. I get what you're doing over here. If there was, if the original marriage was with money that was given from him to her, husband to wife, how do, they, how do the rabbis annul the marriage? They say that that money is Hefker. Because the rabbis with eminent domain, the court, is able to say that that money didn't belong to you. They can, they can take away that money. However, Kaddish be a Maya but let's say there's three ways to get getting married. One of them is with relations. What do they do over there? How, do, what, how can they claim about that? How can they get rid of that marriage? That's a fact. So, <coughs> right? So the Gemara says, Shavi Rabbanan Bilasnos. The rabbis just considered it that it wasn't the relations that made it, that created a marriage, it was the relations that was just licentious uh, activity. If they should have the ability, why doesn't that use this ability to solve the agreement problem? Today? Yeah, that's what the, um, that's the claim. Yeah. So we could fix all the problems. And today they're being matted a lot of people that don't uh, that can't get get, uh, get an it's Israel by digging into the Adim and to other things to try to invalidate the original condition and thereby free her from being an agon. It's a it's a big um, it's a big thing in Eretz Israel now that they're doing. Yeah, like going sure after like, they find out one of the Adim was in Shemesh Shabbos. They Pasha followed a guy and they saw they found out that he was Pasha. Not, and he wasn't it wasn't uh, the condition wasn't uh, wasn't valid you need to and and therefore they were they were matter it was also controversial but it was it's uh, I think it's uh, possible 
just seems to see saying they have the power even if everything was kosher. Right. They have the power to do it. Right. Right. But but the the rabbis would never create a new a new way of doing this. What they would do is they would give a get in a way that it would be a, a, a rabbinic get. And that way, and then that's in other words, that's the only precedent that we have. Is that a rabbinic uh, law level get would annul the Kedushan. But you're asking more than that. So I right. see that the rabbinic level get can annul the Kedushan. Why can't they just annul the Kedushan? Okay. Ikadamri. I guess we don't have precedent for that and anyone doing that. Yeah. Yeah. The rabbinic get works with the uh, annulment. Oh, <laughs> this time it's putting up a, a ksuba. That's a ksuba. That's not a get. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ikadamri, there are those that say the statement of Rava, the opposite. Amar Rava, v'chein le'nid getim. Just like that it was an excuse where the husband does not need to support his wife because the marriage did not take place yet, even though the date was set, but he, can ha- he has an excuse. What's his excuse? He says, I'm sorry, I can't do the marriage, I'm sick. So he doesn't have to support her, even though he set the date, but that exempts him from supporting her. So too, regarding a get, if he makes that condition that he says that if I don't return until, uh, before, if I don't return by a month, then the get is valid, and he was trying to return, Rava says that the get is not valid because he was an Oynas. The Oynas helps the condition. Alma Kasava Rava Yeshen is begitten. Obviously, Rava holds that there is such a thing as an accident, as an unavoidable circumstance by a get. Okay, now what we're about to do is we're going to bring the proofs that we had before and we're just going to ask them as questions. The same Gemara that we had before that would prove a Oynas begitten. We're just going to bring those proofs in again, throw them at us as questions on what we're saying, and we're going to answer them the same way that we said before, why it wasn't a proof. Okay. The Gemara is a question. That's the way it introduces the question. person tells his wife, this is your get if I don't return within 12 months. And then he dies. So we say, ain't a get. It's not a good get. That's because he died. Hachala. But if he was sick, then hareza get, and it is a good get. You hear what's happening? It's a get, and he didn't return because of unavoidable circumstances. That means that we ignore the excuse, and we look at the fact he didn't return. Really, I'll tell you that even if he was sick and he doesn't return, it's not a get. He has a good excuse why he didn't, uh, why he wasn't able to, to break the condition. So we're just teaching us that there's no get after death. You, know, so you can't imply anything from this because what it was really teaching me was something else. Gemara says, "Ain't get That we said clearly. That does not. We, the, 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 the Mishnah said that clearly. That a person says, "This is my get after I after I die." that uh, it's not a good get. Gemara says, well, maybe what it's telling me is something else. It's still malafukim mid rabbi seinu. Maybe it's coming to exclude what the sages said, that you look at the date in the get. Some people said that you look at the date in the get, and therefore it's not a get lachamisa. We say that the date in the get doesn't tell us anything. It has to do when, with when the condition is met. That's when the get takes effect. Tashima, come and listen. And was, our whole point over here is to prove or disprove uh, Rava's statement that we accept the excuse of an unavoidable circumstance. <laughs> if he says from now, if I don't return for 12, uh, in, up until 12 months, then this is the get. And he passed away. Now over here he said, he said that the get takes effect right away. Areza get my love, is it not? Who adin lachala? The fact is, the get takes effect from the original date. And the same thing should apply whether he dies uh, or if he's sick.
It could be. It could be. So anything that happens to a warrior is going to be punished as a condition. So it's a warrior who wants to come back to his original life. And whether he's sick or whether he gets shot or stabbed or so all right. unintended conditions. So right. what's 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 right. assumed to be right. So based on that, right. So based on that, if over here, what he's saying is that the get is valid from when he gives it, the get takes effect from when he gives it. And there's a condition that if he doesn't return. So we said, if he dies then the gets valid, what about if he's sick? So we said, probably the same thing, probably the same thing. See, even though the reason why he didn't return was because it was unavoidable, sounds it's logical that it should be the same thing and the get should be valid the gemara says lie it's not true because may stafka it's specifically because he died that's why the get was valid but if he's sick the get is not valid the the table because why when he dies is the get valid because the reason why he gave that condition was all with the intent that he doesn't want his wife to have to marry his brother but if he's sick and he doesn't return, maybe he doesn't want to get to be valid. Right. We're just saying that we can't prove it one way or another. Tashima, come and listen. We have a story of a person that's told to the witnesses, If I don't return within 30 days, it should be a valid get. Also, the safe class in he arrived at the end of the 30 days, Upaska Mavra, and the ferry wasn't there. See, I'm here, I'm here. <clears throat> it's not considered that he arrived. Why not? We, uh, it should be uh, a ninus. On the first day, he wants to come back. So he wants to come back after he gives the get. And on the 30th day, he wants to come back after he gave uh. the potential get. So what's the difference whether it happens on the 30th day or on the 15th day? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's a there's another discussion over here if we view an inus only at the end or through the whole time sometimes people they um they wait for the last minute and then at the end they say oh i'm an inus that's a, a big discussion in halacha if the inus takes place before if you can use that if you can use that excuse by being negligent the whole time and then at the end say oh i'm an accident my students are like that <laughs> Why are you late? So I needed to whatever. So why don't you do that before? So before I didn't need to come to class. <laughs> the Gemara says, Let's go. Well, let's go through this because we're still holding on yesterday's stuff. Say that this is a, um, a, a common sort of accident an uh, uh, unavoidable circumstance because the ferry because he should have taken into account that sometimes the ferry isn't there he should have put that into his condition that when i that that if i don't come back unless it's because of the ferry then it should be a good get you should have put that in see that's an easy clause to write unless it's because of Uh-huh. Right. Right. Shmuel said that right. he he did not arrive. Yeah. Yeah. Because that all all of that should have been put into the condition. So we thought that that would be a support for Rava. That, that should be a question. That's a question on Rav, according to this, because Rav here is saying, uh, uh, so we're saying that that's not a real question because maybe the reason why Shmuel was strict over there, over there because he should have put it into the st- stipulation in the condition itself. Okay. Amar Rav Shmuel Bar Yitzchak. What we're, uh, the Gemara is about to do is we go back to the original law is that a woman should get married on a uh, basula, a virgin should get married on a Wednesday. 
Rabbi Shmuel Bar Yitzchak teaches, that's only after Ezra instituted what day is the best in sits. What day is the court date? So, that the best only sits on a Monday and a Thursday. But before Ezra instituted that, so when when the best in sits? Well, any day. Why did we institute that that a woman that the, the, that a woman should get married on a Wednesday? The reason why we instituted that is because if he finds that she wasn't really a virgin, he's going to run to the court when he's angry, and he's going to to complain about the uh, about what he found with his wife. So that's only because the court was on on a Thursday. But before Ezra came, the court was on any day. So therefore, any day the, the person could get married because the next day is going to come to the, to the best in. And they had a best in every day. Gemara says, Kaidim takanas Ezra, my have a have it. Shmuel Bar Yitzchak is telling me what would have happened before Ezra. Whatever happened then happened then. That's not relevant to us. What, what he really means to say is, let's say, in some places, there's a Bezdin that's established every day. Just like it was before, let's say we change that rule of what day is the Bezdin sits. Then, that's what he means to say. The Gemara says, What are you telling me? A woman can get married whenever on any day because the following day the husband can run to court. But what about the preparations that we said? You told me before that it wasn't on a Sunday because we wanted him to prepare Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. There, was two, there were two points here. And you're, you're, you're taking one of them and you're ignoring the other one. The Gemara says, the Tarach light. It is possible for him to prepare before Shabbos. We just think that maybe he doesn't. But if he actually did, if he prepared uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then uh, he doesn't get married on Shabbos, but on Sunday he could get married. This is my shaktu. What, what was this thing that you mentioned that shaktu? Shaktu means the concern. The sages were concerned that the husband should prepare for three days. The Tanya was taught in Abraham. <coughs> Why did we say that a girl that's a virgin gets married on a Wednesday? <laughs> because if there was a claim that she wasn't really a virgin, he would come to Bezdin. Okay. Rek the Gemara, or maybe it's actually the Brisa. Let her get married on a Sunday. Same thing would apply. He would run to Bezdin on a Monday. Says, he would come, if he had a claim, he would come to Bezdin. The Gemara says, Sages were concerned to institute something for the Jewish girls. She had them that the husband should prepare for three days. And on the, on, on Wednesday, he marries her. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, he prepares. She should have a proper wedding. If they prepared on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then the truth is that if there would be a best in, yeah, so what we're going to need to say, a very good, Ruben's asking a good question. If you just told me that you're allowed to do it before, so what's the benefit of Wednesday? Why is Wednesday better than a Monday than a, than a Sunday? I guess the answer is, is that they instituted that it should be on Wednesday and not on a Sunday. But if someone did prepare, then that would also work. That's what that's what it sounds like from this Gemara. Um, from the time of danger and onward, no go am People would start would get married on a Tuesday, and the sages did not protest. It was a time of danger. But on a Monday, not. But if it was unavoidable circumstances, then it's mutter on a Monday as well. They shouldn't get married on Friday night because the first relations makes a bruise. It's going to bleed. And they shouldn't get married. Uh, this is not the halacha, but this is, uh, that's what the, the spryce says. Okay. 
there is an opinion, and this is it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. The Gemara talks about if it's the blood is held there, if it's just, or if it's actually coming out like a wound. Is it just contained or is it bleeding like a, like a new, new wound? Okay, the Gemara says, my Sakana, what, you, what, what were you referring to when you said if that if it's a danger, they can get married a day earlier? Let's say they said, anyone that gets married, we're, we're thinking over here, what's the possibility? What could be? Anyone that gets married on a Wednesday gets put to death. So it says, how did they resolve that? It says, well, it became a custom to get married on, on, a, on a Tuesday. Nagu. The Gemara says, Nagu. It became a custom. Legamri Nakri. No one should ever get married. It's not a custom. It should be forbidden. It should be totally uprooted that there's no such thing as getting married on Wednesday if they put people to death. Amar Rabba, so Rabba responds. He says, Rabba, great sages of the Talmud, Damri, Besula Nisus Nimervi Tiboyla Hagman Tchila. Said that there was a certain time when any uh, virgin girl, be, the, the day before she got married, would have to live with the governor. So what would they do? They would get married a day earlier than the appointed time. The appointed time was Wednesday. They would get married on Tuesday. They would say, oh, she's not a virgin. The Gemara says, the governor doesn't want it anymore. Yeah, it was picky. <laughs> so, uh, but actually, this explains, according to some commentary, this explains that it says that in Yehuda, the, 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 the girls, there was no Tainas Basulim in Yehuda because the husbands would live with their wives during those 12 months in the father's house. Why would they do that? seems usually when you learn the Gemara, it says, well, they weren't so uh, careful. But it turns out that it could be the reason why they were doing that was to avoid the general grabbing her on the, before the wedding. The Gemara is going to mention that in a minute. That's another possibility. The Gemara will say in a minute. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, the Gemara is going to mention that in a minute. The Gemara says, Hi, Sakana. We're looking for what, what's the translation of this uh, Brisa? You said that it's because of a danger. So they're getting married on a Tuesday. Now, one second. The term is not correct. It's not a danger. It's not a sakana, it's an oinus. Oinus means it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's rape. <coughs> Kumar says, well, it actually is a danger. The reason, why is it a danger? There are virtuous women that would not want to live with the general and they would give up their lives. So it is a danger. So the Gemara says, well, then they should know the halacha. Religiously, why don't we tell them that they'll be allowed to be with their husbands if they were raped? Why don't we tell them that, they're not, that they don't have to give up their lives? They're, they're being raped and then they, they go back to the husband. It says, we don't want to mention that don't worry about this, this is not a problem because then there were those uh, promiscuous women that will will live with this general willingly. And then they're actually forbidden to their husbands. We don't want to tell them that it's allowed. We, so we don't teach that. Vikanami Kayanis. And there's also a Kayan that is not allowed to live with his wife after, if she was raped, even if she was raped, even if it wasn't uh, by, her, by her will. The Gemara say, asks a question now. So why don't we just change the rule of taking it from getting married on Wednesday to Tuesday?
the times of oppression, they come and go. We don't change the rabbi's laws just because of there's a one time there's a decree like this. We don't change it entirely. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do it a little different, but we're not going to uproot the whole uh, institution. Why doesn't he come on a Tuesday? If he realizes what's happening, the general will come on a Tuesday and take the bride. It says, he's lazy. And um, he doesn't even know. It's a doubt. Maybe tonight is the wedding. Maybe it's not the wedding. He doesn't know. He only comes like, I guess, the day of the wedding. So um, he doesn't know. So he's not coming it's just because of a doubt. It doesn't gamble. Uh, but it says, we, now we quote the Bryce. It says, on a Monday, he sh they should not get married. He should not marry her. But if it's because of an accident, which means an unavoidable circumstance, then it's permissible. My Ines, what unavoidable circumstance were you referring to? And if we say it's what we're talking about, that maybe he's going to come on a Tuesday. So we do the wedding on a Monday, right? The general is going to come. We're going to do the wedding a day before. There's a problem with the term. It's inconsistent. Before you said it's a danger. Now you're telling me unavoidable circumstance. You're not calling it the same term. And also over there you said the term nagu that they were accustomed. Now you're telling me that the rule is that it's permissible. The terms are not consistent. There must be something else that would allow the wedding to be done on a Monday. The army is coming to town. So then it's permissible to get married on a Monday. Hey, dami, when are they coming? If they're coming and then they're going to just leave, it's like they're just running through town. So wait till later. Do the wedding next week. So it's like, no, they're coming to stay. So So why don't they get married on a Tuesday? We're saying they're getting married on a, on a it's supposed to be a Wednesday. They're the, but the army's coming on a Wednesday. Well, get married next week, Wednesday. So no, they're going to be, be here next week, Wednesday. So they, they're staying. We don't know how long they're staying. So they can't just postpone it because it's postponed indefinitely. So he said, so, okay, so go back to Tuesday. We said, it's a Sparvadi day, Begimel Kasu. No, the, the, his um, kitchen staff of the, of the army show up on a Tuesday and um, they're going to take away all the food and uh, they can't do that. That's the problem with the army. The army was they would destroy everything. They would uh, take everything that they prepared. There's also the unfriendly army. That would be a, um, a, a similar halacha. And that wouldn't be a sakana. That would be the sakana. That, that would be the other. Iba Yaseima. Okay, now we're about to enter into a new sugi over here. We have a, a, a few more minutes. A new sugi. This has to do with um, mourning when there's a, uh, a, t a period of mourning and um, there's also the time when the uh, uh, bride and groom have to be rejoicing. So when they fall at the same time, there's a very interesting halachas that play out. So we... This is a discussion also, one of the answers you could give if her husband brings her to court and says she didn't find evidence of her being say, that's true. I'm not, I was raped. Right. 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 The Gemara is going to discuss that. That it's really a suffix. Right. Why don't we can say give another answer? My machmasinus. What does it mean? There was an uh, unavoidable circumstance that's causing them to um, get to uh, to to not get married on a Wednesday and they have to get married a day earlier or, or not on a Tuesday, even on a Monday. Kiditanya, it's taught in a brisa. Let's say the bread was baked already. And the slaughter, the animals were slaughtered. The yain mazuk, yain mazuk, the wine was already mixed. They used to mix water into the wine. All of these things, um, they didn't have ways of preserving it for a long time. They have refrigeration and even the wine even wouldn't last uh, for a few days. The father of the chasen passed away or the mother of the kala passed away. So what's going to happen is that 
if he if they do the funeral right now, then he's going to be going to a state of Avela, so she's going to go into a state of Avela, and they can't, they're not allowed to consummate the marriage. The other way is they consummate the marriage now before the funeral. That way they don't, also don't lose the food because they can do the wedding. They're going to celebrate for seven days. Well, they'll consummate the marriage, do the funeral. The Avelis will only start after the seven days of rejoicing. Really? Yeah. What we're talking about is that the food was prepared for the wedding, but then someone passed away. And if they don't consummate the marriage now, but do the funeral first, all the food's going to go bad. So we let them, that's basically what the Gemara is telling me. What's the Aynas? Why we're doing it earlier, doing the, the wedding earlier is because we need to avoid the Avelis taking place and losing all the wedding food. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not a, that's just crackers or something. Okay. They put the, the, the deceased into the corpse into a room and the chassan and kala go to the chuppah. He has one relations with her and then he separates. We'll see why. And v'noyig shiva simeya they rejoice for seven days. And then afterwards, they do seven days of mourning. If they would have sat Shiva for an hour, then the holiday would remove it. But they're not, they didn't sit Shiva for an hour. And it would only be a holiday that, like a Rosh Hashanah or a, or a Sukkot, or, you know, a holiday that comes into, right? That's, that's how it's done. But here, it's, a, it's, a, it's considered a holiday, but it wouldn't be allowed. They wouldn't be allowed to, to make it. In all of those days, now we're talking about 14 days, he has to sleep amongst the men and she sleeps amongst the women. For some reason, usually we trust the husband and wife that to be in the same room, even though for there's times when she's in Ida and he's not allowed to be with her. It'd be yichud. But we trust them because uh, that's the nature of it. We trust them. But in this situation, we don't trust them and they have to actually be separated. Okay. The, the of the morning Avelis. of the Avelis, yeah. They, do this? It, if it would be a case of Avelis, it would have to be like this. There is one other situation like this. If it's a chuppah's nida, if the wife is a nida under the chuppah, so then they don't um, consummate the marriage and they actually have to stay separated. Now, how do they do it? They basically, instead of going to a hotel, they go to a uh, um, to one of the parents' houses. And that's... Uh, no way. Yeah. Yeah. It's only after they've had relations once where we trust them. But before they've had relations, we don't trust them. And over here, it's interesting because they already had relations once. That's what we said. So we have to see what's, what's going on over here. Ethiopia, they used to. Sorry. Ethiopia, they used to outside. Separate, uh, like a Shiraz. Yeah, that's not uh, the Rambam as a whole thing against the Karaites that would do that. We don't withhold um, Tachshit in our uh, jewelry. She's a Kala. She's allowed to have the jewelry for the 30 days. We're going to see what that means. Um, is it the 30 days of the morning or is it the 30 days of the wedding? It's not so clear. It's specifically the father of the chassan that passed away that we have to do this and the mother of the kala that passed away that we'd have to do this. Because there would be no one else. But if it would be the mother of the chassan or it would be the father of the kala, then it wouldn't be relevant to do this because we would have people that would be able to prepare the food for the, for the chassan and kala or prepare them. But if it would be opposite, no. Okay, that's our answer. When do we say that this is a concern? It's because the water was already put on the meat and it's going to spoil if we don't do the wedding. But if you didn't put the water on the meat, then just sell the meat and it's going to be fine. Rava says, but if it's in a city, you can sell it even if you already put the meat and uh, mixed the meat with the water. Amar of Papa, of Papa says, Ubekfar, and if it's in a village, Afal Pisha Lainas and Mayam Al Gabi Basalem is Dabin. 
You can't sell it even if you didn't put the meat on the water. Okay, now, there's a problem. So then what's the, when do we have the dinner of Rav Chizda? Rav Chizda said there's a difference between if you put the water onto the meat, but, but then we have two statements. In a city, it doesn't matter, and in a village, it doesn't matter. So when does it matter? In the city, you can sell it even if the water was on the meat. And in the village, it doesn't matter even if the water wasn't. So when did Rav Chizda make that distinction? A city, uh, an area that's not a city, not a village, that it makes a difference that if it was already starting to be prepared, then you can't, you won't be able to sell it there. But if it was still fresh meat, that you can still sell. Tanya Kavaseder Rav Chizda, we have a support for Rav Chizda. We're going to quote a Brisa. And this Brisa is going to mention the water on the meat. Let's say someone, uh, they baked the bread, they slaughtered the, the animal, the wine was mixed, and they put the water on the meat. Here in this price itself, it mentions Rav Chizda's statement. And then Umesav shall chasanim shall kal, and the father of the groom or the mother of the bride passed away. Machnis nesemes lecheda, they bring the corpse into a one room. And they bring the chasan kal and the chuppah. They don't do the the the, the burial. Uboyal bilas mitzvah pirish. The chasan kal live together, and then they separate. Vneig shivus yimei mishta. They have the seven days of rejoicing. Ba'achekach vneig shivus yimei avelus, and then they do the seven days of mourning. All those, all those 14 days, he sleeps amongst the men and she's amongst the women. And we add in the same thing as if she's a nida by the chuppah. And we allow her to get dressed up with jewelry all 30 days. Either way, he should not have relations like bear of Shabbos, like Maitis Shabbos, not on. Friday night and not on Mitzvah Shabbos. Relations means the first relations. Should not be on Friday night. The marriage should not be Friday night or Mitzvah Shabbos. Friday night we explained. Why Mitzvah Shabbos? We're going to see us do with the caterer. Okay. Um, should I go further? Should we leave it here? No. Okay. we we'll leave it here. Let's leave it here. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. You know the Ksuba I put up? I don't know if you can read it, even though Google changed the words by accident. 